Hey, this is Rockus on Playing With Fire, and I'm Kyle. I'm going to do an unboxing and a hot sauce sampling tonight. It's a little later than I'd anticipated. For those of you who checked out my video earlier today from the Death Nut Challenge, I survived. Didn't have any issues with any capsaicin cramps or anything this time. And for that, I need to thank my friend at Lone Star Crew, who... Uh, one of the videos he did mentioned eating cottage cheese beforehand and that that helped him. I gave that a try this morning and well it worked out just perfectly. So without further ado I have a box that I got mailed to me from uh, Stephen Pulley at uh, uh, SC Pulley Hot Sauces. So let's see here what we've got. personalized note here says thanks Kyle happy holidays from Steve thank you Steve I hope you have a great holiday season as well sir all right the first one I have ooh, I can't I'm not sure how to pronounce this one it's a uh, so it's Pulley's KOX Special Reserve Hot Sauce. This is, uh, it's pronounced Kuash, meaning savage or wild in the Mayan language. It says this intense sauce will carry you away and cook you on a spit when you struggle to figure out what just happened. Kuash is carefully made from fermented super hot peppers and mildly resembles Louisiana and Sriracha style sauce, hot sauces. While it is not for the faint of heart, this super hot sauce aims to please those who crave extra heat. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this bottle looks really cool. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we have in here before we get to sampling. Ah. Looks like I got a little something extra. Heat level nine of ten. It says Montana Gold. Brings next level heat from yellow maruga scorpion peppers and combines it with the luxurious flavor of mimosa designed for those craving extra heat. This sweet hot pepper sauce enhances meals with a powerful sting you won't soon forget. All right. got Maruga Island Tropical Hot Sauce. It says Montana's Tropical Paradise. Maruga Island was made with true hot sauce lover in mind. Enjoy this tropical sweet heat condiment on most any meal. It is made with all natural ingredients and has no additives, preservatives, or extracts and is gluten-free. So for you friends of mine out there that have gluten intolerance, this one should be just fine for you. I'm going to bring this one up. And there's... is Pulley's Blazin' Peach Hot Sauce. It says a heat level of 6 out of 10. Okay. Sorry, I thought my buddy Warrior had something there. 
Blazing peach is made with scotch bonnet and habanero peppers, topped by the delicious local peaches grown by Forbidden Fruit Orchard in Paradise, Montana. Enjoy this true fruity sauce on most any food from breakfast to supper as well as desserts. This product contains no additives, preservatives, or gluten. So again, we've got another gluten-friendly hot sauce. The one thing that sold me on this one is when I was looking at the Instagram site for SC Pulley Products, I noticed that he had this on uh, a bowl of vanilla ice cream, so I can't wait to try that out. Okay, so I've got my Chase the Heat hot sauce tasting spoon. I love this thing because it gives you the ability to taste without tainting the flavor of any of the sauces with a uh, stainless steel spoon or having to use a wood stick or plastic spoon. So let's see, I'm going to start with Blazing Peach. And while I'm doing that, I will put uh, information here for PulleysHotSauce.com on my description. Oh, that smells good. You can smell the peach and you can smell the scotch bonnets and the habaneros. Pour. Oh, that's nice. Can taste the peach up front. Can taste the peppers. Mm. Not a whole lot of bite, of course. Uh, my heat tolerance level, if you've watched any of my other videos, is maybe a little bit higher than the average. But, uh, man, this is a fantastic tasting hot sauce. Mm. Just a little bit more here. And if you want to, I will put some information about my Instagram page, too, because I have a hot sauce log that I complete for each one and I post pictures of that so if you want interested in the full review that blazing peach is a wonderful sauce I'm using the water just to clean my palate Okay, so let's go to Maruga Island Tropical. This has got orange juice concentration, or orange juice concentrate, mango, yellow Maruga scorpion pepper, lemon juice, white wine vinegar, molasses, pineapple, garlic, spices, and smoked paprika. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay. can smell the pepper the definitely smell the scorpion pepper it's kind of a garlic and spicy 
almost a smoky with the paprika up front with the smell. Let's see what we've got for a pour and taste. Sorry if my dogs are getting in the way and distracting you, but uh, all right, that's got a nice pour to it as well. Not too runny. Okay. So right up front, you can uh, taste the garlic and the spices and the smoked paprika. <clears throat> Takes a minute for the mango and the pineapple to get there, but it's uh, it's very good. I'm not uh, the heat's probably about a two or three for me. This will definitely go be good on uh, ooh, just about anything too, as far as meals go. It's definitely it's got that flavor that I think would be really good, like on hamburgers or maybe brats. Very good flavor. Okay, so let's go on to the co-wash, co-wash, and it has, uh, let's see, fermented pepper mash that is made of chocolate maruga, habanero, Carolina reaper peppers, water and salt, red onions, white wine vinegar, molasses, lemon juice, garlic, Worcestershire sauce, vinegar, molasses, sugar, water, salt, onions, anchovies, garlic and cloves, tamarind extract, natural flavorings, chili pepper extract, and lime juice. So I imagine that this one's going to be pretty warm, but uh, let's see here. I'm looking forward to it. Get a little bit more water to cleanse my palate. Okay. smell the Worcestershire sauce on it right up front. Uh, let it smell. I, I like Worcestershire sauce so it smells pretty good for me. You can almost can't really smell the pepper right up front but uh, you can definitely tell that it's there. This is the co-wash. Mm. That's pretty, uh, pretty complex. You can taste the Worcestershire sauce, but you can also taste the uh, mangoes, there are the Maruga and Carolina Reapers and that mash is just fantastic. Uh, i try just a little bit more. The heat level, it's kind of on the front of my tongue and toward the back of my throat a little bit, which is characteristic of the uh, Carolina Reaper, that back burn of the throat there.
things. The heat is building just a little bit. It's probably about a five, four, well, now about a four. Oh, I'm going to let that one linger just a little bit. That is a really good sauce. So, right now I will tell you if you're interested in some good, well-flavored hot sauces, then go visit PulleysHotSauces.com because these are excellent hot sauces. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, try this one here. It's a heat level 9 of 10. It's called Montana Gold. Smells kind of floral. Let's see again what it has in it: yellow maruga scorpion peppers, and it contains <clears throat> combines it with the luxurious flavor of mimosa. So, okay, here we go. It's a much thinner, runnier sauce than the first three. Very tasty, very tasty. You can uh, taste the balance there between the maruga and the uh, mimosa. Excellent, excellent hot sauces. Stephen Pulley, I thank you very much for getting these out to me as quickly as you did. Uh, I look forward to trying more of what you have in store. And for those of you who've checked out my videos, please uh, go check this one out. If you like it, click like, share it, and please subscribe. I'm trying to build my audience. Thank you very much.